Hi friends, it is super early. <laughs> it's our first unofficial day of school. Ashley is dressed. Look how cute you look. I like it. And your pants cinched up a little bit? Yeah, but it's fine right now because I'm okay. I can do it really quick, Chelsea's not quite done. Look at the back. Got it. Hang on. Hi. What does it say again? You don't have to know the answers. That's why you go to school. <laughs> Here I can cinch up your pants though really quick. Here. <laughs> Get the cold shivers. Okay, so you're ready to go. Your zipper is all done up and everything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be back to get you. You need to go get breakfast, yeah. right? And then, um, here, stand over here. The light's on you. You need to hurry and go brush your teeth. We, we need to go. Okay, so you're, you had breakfast? Yes. Yeah. Okay, brush your teeth, brush your hair. Yeah. And then put socks on and shoes on and be ready for me. I'll be back in like an hour, okay? okay? I wish I could show you my actual schedule, but it has the names of all the places, including the schools of where I have to go. So I can't do that. I can't, I can't show you that. But we have an entirely packed full day of me being a taxi <laughs> to take everyone to all their different orientations. And I can't put my shoes on in here because dad forgot to shake them off for when I uh, cut his hair the other day. So I'm going to set them outside. Put them on. Okay, we're gonna head out to, first one is Chelsea's orientation at middle school. But remember, she doesn't go to her real middle school, she goes to a new one, a fake one, temporary one, I should say, until um, like her new school is because built. it was gonna be done like right now, but they had to. There's a delay. Yeah. Yep, so, hey Ashley, can you open that door for me? And then I'll be back to get you in just an hour. Make sure dad gets up, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, you ready to go to middle school? Sort of. A little nervous? They were up right and ready, and that means you didn't sleep well, and you were waiting for that alarm, right? Huh? <laughs> are you excited or are you just nervous? I'm excited. Okay. Um, I just drop you off. I don't go in at all today. All right? Mm -hmm. Let me know how it goes after. Do sure. you have your water bottle? Yeah. All right. You have your mask? Yeah. You see? Yeah. Perfect. And this would be why we aren't going to be driving as much. <laughs> I don't do parent line drop off very well. I'm not very patient. This goes all the way down to the street. We haven't even gotten to the school yet. But gives us a chance to chat, Chelsea. Mm. <laughs> Just giving her a hard time. Um, we've been racing her friend <clears throat> that lives right by us. And uh I don't know what direction they went, but they went a different direction than us. Trying to see what, if we're ahead of them, if we beat them, or if they're behind us, right? I don't think they're behind us. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen their that's car. That's not their car. Huh? That's not No, they're not right behind us, but I just wonder if we beat them to this point. But I will be back to get you, okay? Really, oh, there it goes. Have fun. I need to take, yeah, take your water bottle. Have a good time. Get your mask. Bye, kiddo. Love Bye. you. I think if this wasn't my, if this was the school where my friend worked. I would feel um, a little less anxious. I don't know. It's, it's hard to like drop your kids off at a new school and they don't know what they're doing and you don't know what they're going to do and you don't even know the school itself and I don't know. I felt really good with Kaylee and Abby knowing that I knew the principal. <laughs> There's a lot of security in that. But she makes friends so well. So I'm not worried about that. And she already has a few friends from the neighborhood that she'll find. I'm excited to see how her experience goes at 
it's not officially middle school day, but it's a really good orientation and um, it'll feel like being at school, you know. But now I have to rush back and get Ashley and take her to her meet the teacher. I think Jason's gonna come with me because he just wants to. He could not get out of bed to take Chelsea. <laughs> He's like, can you just do it? I don't blame him. Um, but only one of us can go in to take Ashley to see her teacher. And I have dubbed myself that person, so. Okay, whose turn is it? Are you excited? Yeah. She's You're totally alone excited. at your school for the first time. Big girl. I, first time. Yeah, you've never been alone at this school. You've always had oh, an older yeah. sister with you. Yeah. Right? A big girl on campus. You're no longer little Ashley or little Chelsea. Yeah. Mini Chelsea is what they call you, right? So you're excited. And you get to take your supplies and drop them off with your teacher and meet your teacher, right? I don't know who your teacher is. Have you, do you know who she is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know who her teacher is. Whoops, hang on. I don't know who her teacher is, but I do know that, well, so Ashley knows who she is, so that's a good thing. Uh, Jason's coming, he's my chauffeur. You call me a mom taxi, I'll call you a chauffeur. That's fine. Why is mom taxi so much less distinguished than like mom chauffeur? Taxi is soccer mom. Well, it's either soccer mom or mom taxi. Um, I don't think it's distinguished or undistinguished. I don't know. You don't, don't you, you don't you don't hear the word chauffeur? Yeah, but you don't hear that term used for moms driving kids around. What chauffeur? Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I mean, so I'm chauffeuring my kids around today. No, you don't use that term. Anyway, off to Ashley's school, and then, where do I have to go next? Okay, you have to go in without me, right? Yep. With your teacher, drop all your stuff off. Yeah. Okay? And let me know how it goes, all right? Yeah, I already know. I know. All right, you have two Ashleys in your class, right? Yeah. So do you have to go by Ashley or Ashley B? Ashley B. Again. That's just your name, huh? But you had, to, you had to go into the classroom, right? And then you got to put your stuff away? Yeah? You're freezing. You're freezing? Yeah, you should have worn a sweatshirt. We're just waiting for Daddy to come back and pick us up, huh? He's right there. Okay, are you a little bit warmer now? Yeah. Is that fun? Got to see some of our friends that we haven't seen in two years, which was kind of strange, right? And, um... I got to talk with some of the moms. Some of the moms are definitely excited to have their kids back in school, and then some of them are like scared. It's just kind of an interesting mix. Oh, it was interesting to see. We got to see her teacher from last year, her remote teacher, right? Yeah. Which we already know that teacher because Abby had that teacher for third grade, or for second grade, I should say. So we got to say hi to her. And then we saw your first grade teacher. And I saw my kindergarten. Teacher. And you saw your kindergarten teacher and her first grade teacher is now working in the library because the librarian retired I was trying to one figure out how why she Switched from from first grade to library, but she said that's been her dream job for a long time And so you'll get to see your first grade teacher in the library like every week. Yeah, well, that'll, be, that'll be fun, huh? And she had longer hair her hair had grown out, huh? Yeah. And everyone loved your hair but how many times do people call you Chelsea? Uh, a few. What? For real? <laughs> yeah. Like five. <laughs> five times? Yeah. One of, my, um, one of your friends from church even called me Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I asked her, I was like, so are you going to correct people when they call you Chelsea? She's like, eh, I'm kind of used to it. That way if you get in trouble, you can just say. Well, no, Chelsea uh, did it. <laughs> I didn't do it. My name's Abby. Or well, Ashley. Yeah, we could have given her the right name. Well, you could give any name you want, I guess, to get out of trouble. But everyone, a lot of people were like, wow, this is your last girl. Like, everyone knows that there has been three other girls to go through the school. So, 
Um, but you've got to like, nope, my name is Ashley. Because they used to call her, especially two teachers that Chelsea had, uh, they called her Mini Chelsea. Uh, they, she just looks exactly like her, and especially with a mask on. Yeah. Anyway, right? Yeah. So, you're going to get to go home and then... <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, I'm going to drop her back off at home, and I think I have... I have a little bit of time, actually. But Costco's not quite open yet, so we can't do Costco yet. And then I think we're going to have to meet at Costco when we do it, timing-wise. I don't know, but... If you want a good back to school Costco haul, stay tuned. That video will probably come out tomorrow. You want to go to Costco with us? Yeah. You don't want to play with your friends one more time? This person runs funny. <laughs> they do. Okay, I think we could have gotten these results yesterday, but I was doing their date of birth wrong. But Chelsea is officially negative, negative for her COVID test. Okay, Ashley's going to scan hers right now. I can't show you. Yeah. What if it is? Okay. Oh Ashley is officially not detected either. Okay. You are officially negative, girl. Yeah. And Chelsea's negative, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew there was not much of a chance. Oh, Jason's calling us. Hang on. Hi. Uh, good. Have you gotten Chelsea yet? Yeah, I got her. I got her pretty quick. Not picking her up is going to be an utter nightmare. I know. That's why. That's, honey. That's why we decided not to do pickup. Yeah. So you want my reaction to something? What happened? <laughs> we got the kids' COVID results. Okay. <laughs> They're both negative. Yeah. They probably had the results yesterday. I was mixing up the date, the birth dates for each of the scan. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, no, I was worried about it because obviously we took Chelsea to the school this morning. Were you worried? I wasn't worried about it actually. So, I wasn't worried either. I didn't know that there's any chance that we could have had it. I don't really. Yeah, I don't think we did needed to do it, but it was just good. It's you good. don't think we needed to do it? I'm not sending them with COVID positive and then infecting their I know. classroom. We did the right thing. Yes, we did the right thing. Okay. Now we are off to Abby. Abby is going to yearbook. Yearbook. Orientation. Okay. Okay, now it is time for a Costco haul. You haven't gone to Costco with this in a long time, have you? Long time. She said to me this morning, she's like, is today the day that you're going to Costco? And I no. said, yes. And she said, is this the one with the snacks? <laughs> she wants to make sure we get good snacks for school. We are going to get back to school snacks and stock up our, maybe some canned goods. All right, times. we're gonna head in. You're gonna join us going in, and then we will show you what we get. I forgot that I was filming this video. <laughs> we just ate Costco pizza. You had a chicken bake. Chicken bake. And you had a churro. churro. We're eating in the car because um, that's how it's gonna go today. Abby just texted us from the high school, and she's gonna be done a half hour early. So now we're in a rush to get back home to film the Costco haul video that we already, we have the Costco food back there. Um, so now we're in a hurry. And then I have even more time to kill um, before she has to be back to the high school for regular orientation. <laughs> but I think that's our last thing. I hope. <laughs> I hope, hope. All right, so Jason has been down at the school with Abby. She had her actual high school orientation and it's funny because she's there with the ninth graders and the 10th graders because the 10th graders didn't actually go to school in person last year, or at least a lot of them didn't. So she's doing that and Jason said it was really fun when she got there because there was like the marching band out front playing and like, I don't even, all the cheerleaders were there. And it was like this big rah-rah um, to come back to school and <laughs> so she had already been to the school for her yearbook little orientation class and it was like anticlimactic. She was like, why am I here? There was no one out front to greet her. There was no one knew what she was there for. Anyway, so going back like not even two hours later and like the marching band is playing and the cheerleaders are cheering and she was like, okay, okay, this is kind of fun. And so I don't know, Jason was like, okay, this is much better. She's more excited, she has a grin on her face, she sees her friends, 
Anyway, so that's kind of fun. But he just realized I'm not going to come all the way back home to turn around and go back. Um, so he took his computer and a bunch of invoices and orders that he has to do for work. And so he's just going to do it from the car, which is what he was doing here at home once we actually got back home. And so he's just going to stay down there. And I've been editing a video. Actually, I've been editing two videos. And I just printed Chelsea's schedule. Where did I put it down? I just printed it. And I'm going to laminate it right now. I've got the laminator warming up. Um, I accidentally sent her... I really can't find... Oh, I put it right there. Um, I accidentally didn't send her with her schedule today when she went to her, her orientation. She was literally supposed to walk through all of her classes and understand where they were. <laughs> Luckily, they had that printed for her at the school, and she has a little map and was able to like highlight what classrooms she has. And so I'm going to laminate it for her. Um, it's a very small schedule, and um, I just highlighted the room numbers, and it's in order. And I just think for the first week or two, <laughs> just being able to clutch that in your hand, but then be able to stick it in your backpack and not have it get ruined is very helpful. Okay, this is ready to print or laminate. And it seems like a big waste to do a whole, you know, sheet of this for one paper, one teeny tiny sliver. But I have had this paper for years and <laughs> I have not run out yet. So it's no big deal. Next, I'm going to use my handy dandy slicer here. And I know it's not normal to have a slicer this big. <laughs> uh, this is my scrapbook slicer, but I gotta put you down first. <laughs> All right, obviously I can't show you <laughs> her actual schedule or her teacher's names, but there you go. It's just nice and little, and she can kind of stick, you know, hold it in her hands um, easily but then also be able to stick it in her backpack and it won't completely get lost. So you can see I highlighted some of it so that they kind of stood out. So like there's the class name, covering up the teacher's name, and then the days of the week I didn't highlight because she has every class every day of the week, and then the classroom number that it's in. So they're out playing. I'm trying to decide if I, I'll just stick this in her backpack uh, and then I'll just tell her that it's there. And she can kind of pull it, pull it out. I am going to go. I've had more time this afternoon than I thought I was going to have. But now I have a headache. I just did not I did eat well this morning when I was rushing around. And so, oh, perfect. My timer is going to go off in like 10 minutes to go ahead and put that mac and cheese in. And I just want it to be ready when Jason gets home with Abby. Uh, Kaylee's out with her boyfriend. I think they went to his... A practice of his a football practice you guys you can't leave fruit out this time of year holy moly it smells really good in here because the oranges but that is just gonna bring me fruit, fruit flies anyway so I'm gonna cook the mac and cheese and have it ready right after Abby gets home because I think she's gonna be starving and we'll be able to eat together as a family everyone's gonna be hungry at the same time I guarantee Chelsea and Ashley are gonna come in starving I don't know if they ate very well throughout all this day, because I haven't even seen Chelsea since like, what, 8 a.m. this morning? So, I'm gonna put the mac and cheese in, and then we're gonna have some vegetables, and possibly even a salad. Hopefully we can have a somewhat normal night for a back to school. We might even have some muffins left over. We do. Oh, there's only like five. Abby made muffins last night. Isn't that cute? We wanted, she wanted to have like a, a good little back to school breakfast available since we knew it was gonna be a rough morning. I'm gonna preheat that oven, get the mac and cheese out. If you wanna see what we got at Costco, stay tuned, it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Kind of 
took time for the family. We had dinner and these guys are ready for bed. <laughs> we haven't seen your lights in here on camera, huh? Yeah, show them the colors. <laughs> what one is, okay, let's do a really calm one for bed. This is. No, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> like seriously, Chelsea. That's not me. <laughs> That's you. Get a bit to it. Okay, you need to go take the ruffles. No. Probably to the garbage. No. Leave it on that one, Chelsea, for right now. Yes, you're going to. Tomorrow. Is your and your this one. Ashley, you're gonna go do it. Get your iPad and come plug it in, so that you can have your alarm go off. Right, mm -hmm. Chelsea, leave it on that one. No, I'm uh setting it for two hours. Okay, and then it'll turn off. Chelsea, it's giving me a headache. Okay, do we have an alarm set for the morning? Yeah, I'm just gonna wake up. And you're getting up a little before seven. You have dishes that you're gonna I unload. Them before. You have a half hour. Can you get everything done in a half hour? Yeah. Your lunch is packed? Yeah. Yep. Right? Okay. Mm. And then you, your lunch is packed? Yeah, I'm just going to wake up when she wakes up. So. Okay, and you've got your outfit. You're just going to wear what you wore today because you were only in it for like an hour, right? <laughs> Lights out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but no screens. We're done. Mm, Lights out. Okay. Now, do you have an 8 a.m. alarm set for you? I'm just going to... Oh. Echo. echo. Set the 8 a.m. alarm for tomorrow. Set an alarm set for 8 a.m. tomorrow. Set a daily alarm for 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. Alarm set for every day at 8 a.m. <laughs> No. That means you wake up at 8 a.m. on a Saturday and a Sunday. No. Leave it alone for now. Don't I'll worry, fix it I'll later. It later. No, leave it on. The, leave it and through this week, and then I'll fix it next week. <laughs> Deal? Fine. The light is really messing me up. Okay. <laughs> Say good night to everyone. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. School starts. You are going to be very tired tomorrow. Ugh. Okay. Okay, everyone, <laughs> send these girls your best wishes. Okay, good night, guys. Take care.